Okay, and I had a question for Susan. Like, yes. when did, how did you get into like voice directing and voice acting? Um, well, voice acting was, I grew up in Minnesota, I'll try and make this as brief as possible, and I was in speech therapy until I was 16. I, I'm a controlled stutterer and used to say Little Red Booster went to the Little Red Bond. I couldn't say my arms. And had a learning disability, a reading disability. They didn't even know what dyslexia was back then. And they had me in a, what we call special class. And I had, you know, a, a pinhead on my left and a mongoloid on my right were my best friends in my first three years. And, and the teacher finally called my parents and said, I don't think she, that Susie should be in this class. And they did IQs and all sorts of testing and realized that I was in the wrong class and it was a learning disability. But when I was in this class, you know, people would make fun of us and jeer at us and everything. I would hide behind all these little characters that I created. You know, I was kind of the Sybil the 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 I would I would do all these imaginary characters and I, I would come up with these voices and surprisingly enough I would not stammer when I did these characters. It was wild. And so I wanted nothing more than to be an actress. Uh, went to college at Stevens in Columbia, Missouri, uh, and I was chosen to do uh, Jackie Cooper and Renee Valente, these talent scouts, and Jackie Cooper, of course, was a child star, became an executive over at Screen Gems, uh, came to my college, and I auditioned. I was brought out to California to audition for a pilot called Gidget Grows Up, and that kind of started my career. The pilot didn't sell, blah, blah, blah. Went to Vietnam as a, uh, did my a USO show there as a singer. And my agent called me and said, I'm making this way too long, aren't I? <laughs> no. No. My agent called me and said, if you were the Pillsbury Dough Girl, how would you sound? And I went, what are you talking about? Well, they're looking for a Pillsbury Dough Girl along with the Dough Boy. And I went, gosh, I don't know. Hi, I'm Poppy, Pillsbury Dough Girl. And it was the right time. They auditioned everybody in Chicago, New York, LA. I mean, they were making, you know, it was ridiculous. And I just was there at the last moment. They were exhausted of auditioning all these people who could have done it, you know, ad infinitum. And I got the role. And that started me in voiceovers. And then I started doing a bunch of series over at Hanna-Barbera and uh, Marvel. And then I, and I did that for several years, and I begged every producer after several years to direct. And everyone went, no, you just stay where you are, and blah, blah, blah. Well, everybody had turned out this particular series and said it was stupid, they were, it was only five episodes. The producer called me, said, you want to do a, uh, so you want to direct. And I went, more than anything. Well, I'm not gonna pay you very much money, and it's, a, it's probably only gonna go for five episodes, and every other director in town has turned it down. I went, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and they and he said, well, it's a funny little show called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, every director in town hated my guts for several years. <laughs> but that's what started my directing career. And um, that's, you know, so I got to direct all the Transformers, you know, the Beast Wars, and, the, and, and I never wanted to go to Canada. Uh, <laughs> I love Canada, believe me, I love Canada. And I love all the people, and, and many of my best friends have come from Canada, but we were having a terrible strike years and years ago in Los Angeles, and, and the actors, you know, were raising signs saying, you know, no cheese, no Mickey. I guess no Mickey Mouse, no cheese, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, and all the directors started going to Canada to use Canadian actors, and because they, and I was kind of the last holdout, and, and decided I would go, and of course it became a, uh, I met wonderful, wonderful people and wonderful friends, and that's how I started directing up in Canada. Of fairness, because we only have about 50 minutes all together. Can you limit your questions to one or two? If you have more, you can get back the line just, just so everybody gets a chance. And obviously, limit the answers to one minute. 
You can talk however long you want. 